Hello and welcome guys. In this video, I am going to discuss about the topic. What happens when lightning strikes an airplane? So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Lightning is a sudden high voltage discharge of electricity that occurs within a cloud, between separate clouds, or between a cloud and the Earth's surface. On average, around 40 to 50 flashes of lightning happen every second around the world. Lightning is powerful and can prove to be deadly, but how dangerous is it to a plane and its passengers? It is estimated that on average, each airplane in commercial fleet is struck lightly by lightning more than once each year. In fact, aircraft often trigger lightning. When flying through a heavily charged region of a cloud, in these instances, the lightning flash originates at the airplane and extends away in opposite directions. The last confirmed commercial plane crash in the U.S. directly attributed to lightning occurred in 1967, when lightning caused a catastrophic fuel tank explosion. Since then, much has been learned about how lightning can affect airplanes. As a result, protection techniques have improved. Today, airplanes receive a rigorous set of lightning certification tests to verify the safety of their designs. Although passengers and crew may see a flash and hear a loud noise if lightning strikes their plane, nothing serious should happen because of the careful lightning protection engineered into the aircraft and its sensitive components. Initially, the lightning will attach to an extremity, such as the nose or wing tip. The airplane then flies through the lightning flash, which reattaches itself to the fuselage at other locations while the airplane is in the electric circuit between the cloud regions of opposite polarity. The current will travel through the conductive exterior skin and structures of the aircraft and exit off some other extremity, such as the tail. Pilots occasionally report temporary flickering of lights or short-lived interference with instruments. Most aircraft skins consist primarily of aluminum, which conducts electricity very well. By making sure that no gaps exist in this conductive path, the engineer can assure that most of the lightning current will remain on the exterior of the aircraft. Some modern aircraft are made of advanced composite materials, which by themselves are significantly less conductive than aluminum. In this case, the composites contain an embedded layer of conductive fibers or screens designed to carry lightning currents. The other main area of concern is the fuel system, where even a tiny spark could be disastrous. Engineers thus take extreme precautions to ensure that lightning currents cannot cause sparks in any portion of an aircraft's fuel system. The aircraft's radome, the nose cone that contains radar and other flight instruments. Another area to which lightning protection engineers pay special attention. The basic level of protection is provided for the airframe, fuel system and engines. And do not contain computerized engine and flight controls, and they are thus inherently less susceptible to lightning. However, numerous reports of non-catastrophic damage to wingtips, propellers and navigation lights have been recorded. I hope the video is little bit useful for you. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell button to get all the notification. Please make sure you hit the like button and make a comment on this video.